Yes, hello and welcome on Into Living Sports here for Football Manager 22 Beta with Liverpool. If you missed the last episode, go and check it out. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos, either with Liverpool in the beta or for their uh, our actual FM22 save when the full game's released on the 9th of November. Subscribe, you won't miss any of those episodes and you'll be really really happy that's all i can say i will preface this by saying as i record this the champions league is on so if i keep looking over here that's because i have the champions league on my other monitor i can only apologize if you think that i'm not giving you your full attention it's probably because i'm not but shush don't tell anybody since we last met we have played quite a few games and as you can see from the screen in front of you we're doing pretty well we're at the top of the the league table here, 23 points out of a possible 30, just one point behind Man City. Only lost one game all season, and that was up against Man United. I'll show you that in just a minute, show you all those results. We're also top of our Champions League group with two wins and a draw so far. And we're through to the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup as well. So the last time we met, as you see up the top there, we played Everton and Ledger Warsaw, 4 now and 6 now, pretty good. And as you can see from the results since then, we've uh, we've been playing fairly well. We continued that with a 3 now win over Wolves, goals for uh, Salah and Trent in that one. We then beat Sunderland 2 now in the Carabao Cup third round, with a bit of a rotated side in for that one. Diogo Jota and Luis Suarez getting goals there. We then follow that with our only defeat of the season so far. It was a 2-1 defeat against Man United. Luis Suarez scored after a minute. And then Jaden Sancho and Luke Shaw scored goals to win it for Man United. That was away at Old Trafford. We then played up against Atletico Madrid. That was a good 2-0 victory. Two very late goals in that one. Ivan Perisic and Virgil van Dijk getting his goals in stoppage time at the end of the second half. But a good 2-0 win. It was a game we dominated, but we just hadn't scored goals. And thankfully, we ended up scoring those goals in the end. We then played Watford in the league, and we won that one 5-2. Goals for Jota van Dijk. An own goal. It was probably more a Salah goal, but... And they gave the own goal to Nkulu. Nathan Phillips scored one as well as Oxlade Chamberlain. We then had our international break, obviously, and they followed that with a 2 0 victory over Southampton. Goals for Curtis Jones and Diogo Jota in that one. We then drew against Benfica 1 0, thanks to a goal from Sadio Mane. Aston Villa were dispatched with a 1 0 victory, thanks to Luis Suarez penalty in the 87th minute. It was a tight, tight game. And then. Sheffield Wednesday were dispatched of in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Again, a fairly rotated side, but Thiago, Perisic, Harvey Elliott, Tsimikas, and two goals for Luis Suarez meant that we won that one 6-0. And our last game was a one-all draw against Newcastle. You knew Newcastle have not spent as much money as you probably would if you'd been Newcastle in this year's game. But still, they managed to get a one-all draw against us. Joe, well, let's go for them. And then Samika scored a goal. His second in two games. That was an absolute screamer. And we drew that one on That has left us, as I say, one point off the top of the table in the league. And we're also top of our Champions League group as well. Seven points. Atlanta were dead in second on six. And against Benfica, today we'll play. They're on four points. Phew, I got that eventually. Now, that was a lot to say. As you can see, today we'll play against Benfica and Chelsea. Two very important games. We drew Benfica the last time we played them. Hopefully we can win today. And then we've got a tough lunchtime fixture on the Saturday up against Chelsea. Hopefully we can get the win. As I say, we drew our last game against Newcastle in the Premier League. So we'll need to try and get that win up against Chelsea. See if we can overtake Man City at the top of the table. So because they're two important games, it's going to be basically two full strength sides we're going to be playing today, minus any injuries. Talking about injuries, we do have injuries. Toxley Chamberlain, he is out for the next two to five weeks. Naby Keita's out for the next couple of weeks. And Joel Matip's still out for the next month. So it's, it's th there's a few injuries. You know, I'd imagine Naby Keita certainly would be in about this team, maybe just on the edge of it. And Joel Matip was a first choice partner alongside Van Dyke at the back. So we're missing a couple of players from a full strength team but it's still a fairly strong team. So it's going to be this. Allison in goal. Gomez and Van Dijk at centre-back. Trent on the right and Robertson on the left. Fabinho playing that holding row with Henderson and Thiago in front of him. Salah, Mane and Suarez up front. You can see Salah's got eight goals this season. Mane's got five and Suarez has got six. So let's hope 
they can get some more goals to date. So here we go, the game kicks off. We're playing in red, Benfica playing in white. And let's see if we can get ourselves a victory. Obviously, we drew with them the last time we played up against them, which is very disappointing for us. Let's see if we can get the win today. They've all swung it in and Salah nearly puts us ahead 20 seconds in. We have just taken a free kick there and given it straight to Benfica, but Joe Gomez has won it back for us. Finds Van Dijk. Van Dijk comes forward, finds Suarez towards Salah. Is he onside? He's tucked that in. Oh, the offside flag is up. We'll see if it's given as a goal or not. You can see everyone swarming the ref there from Benfica. Three minutes on the clock, and indeed the goal is disallowed because it was offside. A good finish from Salah. He just, uh, just ran a little bit too early there with his pace. You wouldn't have thought he'd need to be pushing the offside trap as much as that. And here we go, a corner kick. Alexander Ross swings it in. It's punched away by the goalkeeper, Thiago. Back out to Trent. Trent swings the ball in. It goes as far as Salah, who comes out to this right-hand side. Plays it back to Fabinho. Fabinho drives forward. Will he cross this in? Finds Thiago. Back to Fabinho. Gets challenged, but he keeps a hold of the ball. And Thiago and Fabinho. All the way back to Joe Gomez now. Joe Gomez comes forward. Finds Thiago. And back to Gomez. Nice slow passage of pay, build up play here for us. Hopefully, we can turn it to something. Fabinho finds Henderson. Robertson's got space on the outside if they want to use him. Instead, Van Dyke comes in field. Now finds Henderson. Tiago hits it. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper. What a shot from Tiago. Atletico Madrid went up 1 0 against Legia Warsaw, which means if the results stay as they are. We will be dropping to second place in this group table. Let's see how we go on here. Robertson into Henderson, Thiago back to Robertson, swung into Alexander Arnold, and everyone's missed the ball. And Trent's got the ball on the right hand side now. Back to Fabinho. Tried to play it down the line toward Trent, but instead he'll have to recycle this play himself. Gomez finds Henderson. Back to Fabinho. And switches it to Robertson, who's in acres of space. Can he get this ball into the box? Yes, he can. Suarez heads it, and it's just over the bar. I tell you what, we have had a lot of chances here, but we're yet to get that breakthrough. Corner kick, Robertson will swing this into the front post, is headed in and Virgil van Dijk has got his sixth goal of the season. I tell you what, it's still the same as it's always been in FM. Swing the ball into the front post, put your big boys at the front post and you'll probably score a goal. There we go, there it is. Van Dijk heads it across the keeper. And we're up 1-0 here just as we reach half time. A deserved 1-0 lead I would say. And we've got a chance to make it two just before the whistle goes. Manny through on goal. It's a good defensive block from the defence in the end. And we're going to go into half time. 1-0 ahead. More than deserved, I would say. Could probably have, have been a few more ahead if we'd taken some of our chances. But we are finally ahead and winning 1-0 at the moment. And Robertson with the throw finds Henderson. It's all the way back to Van Dijk now. There's no one anywhere near him. They're sitting very deep up in Fika. Robertson down the line. Can he cross it? And he does. And Manny tucks that into the near post. That was a lovely piece of play from Robertson. Wide on that left-hand side. Drills the ball across into the front post. And Manny just tucks that in. Nice and easy. A simple finish for a player of his quality. Robertson just puts those two defenders off. Oh, just behind them. Gilberto misses that block interception there, the interception chance. And Manny tucks it in at the front post. And it's 2-0 now. Nice, comfortable position to be in at the moment. And I think that means we can make a few changes, especially to some of the important players. Jota can come on for Salah. Tiago can come off as well. And we'll bring on Curtis Jones for him. And Fabinho can come off. We'll bring on James Millier for him. We don't want Fabinho getting sent off as he's currently on a yellow card. And apparently Luis Suarez has scored. I was just taking off Suarez and Manny to bring on Perisic and Firmino. And it turns out Suarez has scored from this corner. Robertson swings it in. Van Dijk heads it off the bar and Suarez tucks that one away. There we go. We're up 3-0. And Suarez is just about to walk off the field having just scored himself a goal. Alexander Arnold swings in that ball. We're scoring lots of uh, goals from crosses and set pieces. Trent hits it as wide of the goal. 50 minutes to go. We're up 3-0. And we're absolutely dominating this game. The ball out to Diogo Jota now. Can he put this ball into the box? He can. Firmino, it's bounced about and it's cleared away. Back in, Benfica clearing that ball away. They don't have anyone to flick the ball onto when someone's actually got the ball up front there. And there's, there's, I say there's no one to support them. It's just one lonely guy by themselves up front, which is not very good if you're trying to score many goals. Time's ticked away here and we're going to win this game 3-0. There's a chance... From this free kick, we could make it four. Trent's going to take it. Oh, and he has scored and he has made it four. It's his second goal of the season. And we've won 4 0 against Benfica. An annihilation here for you to see. We drew 1 1 with them away in Benfica. 
And we've uh, we've managed to win at Anfield 4-0. What a performance. And that's perfect. Getting us ready for our game up against Chelsea, where we have to be on top form because they're one of the favourites for the league, remember. So both ourselves and the Atletico won tonight, which means we are ahead of them in the group by a point and by a lot of goals as well. So it should be the two of us getting through this group, you would have thought. I'll see you in but a moment for the game up against Chelsea. Hopefully we don't have any more injuries to, to deal with. I must say I'm really enjoying this new data hub. Let me know down in the comments below what how you think uh, what you think about it. I think it's really, really good. One of my favourite graphs, I must say, is this one that shows you the passing and you can see who's passing with who in it. You can see in that last game, a lot of it went through Andy Robertson on the left-hand side of the pitch, which is exactly what I'm expecting. You see how wide Robertson gets out there, whereas the other side, but a little bit more narrow with Trent. We don't quite get the same width because he's that inverted wing-back. You see, looking at these wee graphs here and the wee diagrams, it's almost like two separate sides of the team, isn't it? This side of the pitch... He's the you know Robertson, whoever's playing the left hand side of the, the centre midfield, left centre back normally Van Dyke and the left winger, all getting you know their own kind of combinations of passes that they're going to be playing, and and then on the other side you've got something similar. It's also uh, involving some of the other sides. Sometimes you know depending on how the game's going, your defensive midfielder's over in this little circle as well. But it's almost like there's two separate groups going on. Um, which is it's a bit strange because I was expecting us to play a lot in the middle, but there's not often as many passes in the middle as you might think. Um, especially if we dominate on one on the on the left hand side, which is where we aim to try to go down if we're going down the wing. But you can see Alexander Arnold still had quite a few passes as well, but most of them are either with Salah or back to Joe Gomez at centre back. Right, so here we are. We've made one change for this game up against Chelsea. That is Jordan Henson dropping out because City requires a rest. So we're going to play James Milner instead of him. So it's Allison in goal, Gomez and Van Dijk at centre back, Trent and Robertson at full back, Fabinho in behind Milner and Thiago, Salah, Manny, and Suarez up front. Let's get into it. Let's get another victory. Maybe it's not going to be another four goal victory like it was against Benfica, but I'll take one. So long as we beat Chelsea, that's the aim. It keeps us in this title race. So here we go. Here is the Chelsea team, as you expect in this formation. They've got Christensen, Rudiger, Aspilicueta at centre-back, James, Marcus, Alonso at wing-back. Hopefully, we can deal with their attacking threat of Romelu Lukaku here at Stamford Bridge. See, Chelsea down in ninth at the moment, but if they win, they go to within four points of us. We should actually stay in second, even if we don't win today, but... I would like to win today because I don't want to fall too far behind Man City. It's going to be hard to chase them down if they end up stretching a lead this early in the season. And as a corner early on, Jorginho's going to take it for Chelsea. It's headed away by Virgil van Dijk. Obviously, Chelsea in blue and we're in our red. Marcus Alonso with it. Back to Jorginho into the Havertz and it's just over the bar. Well, that's nearly all the first half gone and you can see we've not had any highlights apart from that one corner from Chelsea that you saw earlier. I mean, I say we've reached half time and that's been a very boring first half indeed. Go and give the fans our money's worth. That's what I'm going to say and we'll see how these boys do in the second half. We've not had a lot of the ball, but we've got it now. Manny runs with it. He cuts in field. What's he going to do? He's going to hit it. Oh, what a Goal, Sadio Mane. Oh my goodness me, that is one of the best finishes I've ever seen in Football Manager. And what a solo effort. He got the ball for Robinson in the half wheel and he just ran and kept running. And eventually 25, 30 yards out, he hits that and that's thunderous right in the top corner. All by himself, Sadio Mane. Take a bow. What a... A goal from him, and that puts us 1-0 up here. That was just as the second half started. And now we've got 25 minutes to go, and we're still leading 1-0. We will bring on Diogo Jota for Sal on that right-hand side. And we've got a throw in here, deep in Chelsea territory. Robertson into Fabino. And it's out to Suarez here, and oh, it's a goal, the second of the game. Surely it's confirmed the win. Sadio Mane, this time the provider, as he squares the ball across for Luis Suarez, who's completely unmarked at that far post there. See, Robertson throws it into Fabinho, Mane, and Suarez is in acres of space, totally unmarked, shoots across goal, and Mendy 
can't quite get there and we lead 2-0 and that means we're going to make a couple of changes we're going to take off Manny he's been so good we'll bring on Perisic to finish and Robertson is on a yellow we'll take him off and we'll bring on Samikas to play that left back position two new players on the left hand side in the meantime Kovacic has run all the way forward here and tried to square the ball but hudson Adoy can't get there and Van Dijk will clear this one away all the way up the field to Suarez and he finds Robertson who's in behind the defence now just before he comes off Robertson reaches the byline plays it to Manny who's due to come off as well and it's back to Fabinho and Thiago here and Milner and Alexander-Arnold and can he finish? He tries to chip it and Mendy holds on to the ball. And there's 15 minutes to go and those two changes are going to be made now. Perisic and Smikas on on the left-hand side for us as we lead 2-0 with now 10 minutes to go. Perisic defends well there. Smikas with it. Forward to Suarez. Suarez back to Smikas. Forward to Milner who's one of the most advanced forward players here. Diogo Jota with the ball now. Can he make it three? Yes, he can. The flag is up, however, and they will check with VAR to see if this is going to be a disallowed goal I think it will be he did look as if he was offside indeed he was it was good play from us though Milner forward to Trent you can see Trent in the inverted wing back role in the middle of the field there and yeah Diogo Jota miles offside so we just keep our 2-0 lead at the moment but the time is ticking away here and it looks like we're going to hold on to win this game up against Chelsea they do have a corner though swung in by Jorginho it's cleared by Van Dijk Saar puts that ball over and Werner gets it Saar is uh, one of the players who who they've signed uh, not in real life but in the game the whistle was blown for offside there I can sum with VAR though but the goal has been awarded and it is it is I go no Malang Saar is not one of the players they, they have actually signed Malang Saar in real life I apologise I thought that was somebody else it's not they have signed him in real life he squared that to Werner there and we only lead 2-1 now and there's just a couple of minutes of this added time to go but we should just about hold on we do indeed we've won 2-1 away at the bridge goals from Manny and Suarez Manny with perhaps one of the best goals I have seen in Football Manager certainly the best goal I've seen in Football Manager 22 so far what a goal that was from him goodness me absolutely brilliant when you look at the match stats on the right hand side there we don't have a lot of the ball we don't ever seem to have a lot of the ball using this gig and press that we do but we do have a lot of shots we didn't have a lot on target but you know what we won the game 2-1 and that's what matters and that win does put us top of the table that's no surprise we played in the lunchtime kickoff we'll see how man city do in their game later on in the weekend and then they'll uh hopefully still be in that position fingers crossed it'd be nice to be top if we go and have a look at the the schedule for the next couple of weeks and probably the next month or so we'll see when we come back i think we're not going to show you the any more the, the champions league stuff because you know you've already kind of seen the champions league we're going to get through there's not much point in showing it however there are a couple of big games coming up that maybe you would like to see i'm thinking a top of the table clash in man city could be quite interesting and we could follow that with the game up against Burnley. Again, a game we should be winning. And then the game against Man City, a game that could be quite tight. So I think we are going to do that. A game against Man City and a game against Burnley. Two games at the start of December to show you. And then we'll fast forward into January and show you what's going on in the January window. If there's anything going on at all. So if you have enjoyed this episode, we had a 4 0 win against Benfica and a 2 1 win against Chelsea. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. It really does help us out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of these episodes. And until the next one, where we have that top of the table clash against Man City. We'll see you then.